Welcome back to Matthew Online. We are looking at Matthew 27. We're almost at the end of Matthew's account of the life and ministry of Jesus. We hope you've learned along the way. We hope that you've started to see Jesus in a new light, understand more of what he did and why he did it. Go ahead and read 27. We'll hit you when we come back. So 27, the the pinnacle of 27, really the pinnacle of the gospel account is the death of Jesus. His whole life working towards this one moment on the cross, the crucifixion. Many of us know the story from Good Friday services and messages. But I want to focus on one person's reaction. I, I really enjoy, especially with Jesus, I enjoy seeing the reactions of other people. Whether it was the wise men, the shepherds, and King Herod at his birth. Whether it was people during his ministry. Whether it was people at the crucifixion or at the resurrection. I like to see what their reactions were. And we get an insight here that I think is absolutely incredible and should motivate us in our own walks with Jesus. This is following the death of Jesus. He's cried out his last. He's given up his spirit. Matthew 27, verse 54. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly, this was the Son of God. They got it. When they saw what had happened, they saw it firsthand. We're getting to see their reaction. They were filled with awe and said, Truly, this is the Son of God. That should be our reaction as we study about Jesus, as we see him working in our our lives and our community today, we should be in awe and recognize that this is truly the Son of God. That he is the Messiah, the Savior, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. They got it. The centurion and those with him, recognizing what had happened, seeing everything go on and say, it's him. Truly, this was the Son of God. As you've read Matthew, as you've explored the life and ministry of Jesus, what is your reaction? Are you starting to see more of who Jesus is? Are you starting to recognize that he is truly the Son of God, that He is who He claimed to be. Now the good news is, this is in response to the crucifixion. It doesn't end there. We have one more chapter to go. You can read ahead if you would like and see the resurrection of Jesus. But keep in mind this example of the centurion. Truly, this was the Son of God. And for us being on the other side of the resurrection, the centurion didn't know what was going to happen in just a couple days. For us, when we learn about Jesus, when we see his work, truly, he is the son of God.